Hello YouTube, this is Joe May here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another Assassin's Creed video. The first one was just a kind of trailer thing. I was kind of testing out my Elgato, and now I'm going to be showing you guys the basically Let's Play. I'm going to be doing a new series here. I have a whole other profile. Let's start this out. So, um, we're going to start off by the tutorial, and let's do this here. So, yeah. Gotta love that epic music though. Uh, this is basically what this game is gonna be like. Except there's not gonna be any cinematics like this. You're just gonna be doing a lot of ship fighting. The whole game revolves around ship fighting. So you guys need to pay attention a lot to this tutorial. And I know a lot of you have seen it because Unity and Rogue is already coming out. So let's spot this assassin over here. There's not gonna be a lot of assassins on the other ship though. Usually it's just gonna be a regular ship. So basically, you're gonna have to reach the ship's wheel here. So, ha uh, sadly, you cannot sprint in this part. So, it just won't let you. So basically, you need to. You're basically surrounded by ships. Your helm's been dead, and you need to take out all of these. So the tutorial's gonna show you to fire your cannons and all of that other good stuff. So let's take the wheel and kick these schooners' butts. Schooners seem hard right now because they're ships. They're your first ships you're gonna fight. Yes. They seem hard now, but they are actually extremely, extremely easy. Schooners can be one-shotted, and as the brig that you want to think is like Goliath, there's going to be a brig, and you're going to have to shoot that down. Sadly, this tutorial can never be in day, so if it is a little bit long, if it's a little bit dark for you, I'm sorry, but you cannot ch fix this. So, these are all schooners that you're going to be taking down, and the brig is going to seem amazing, but... Once you get high enough, your cannons can be able to one-shot this brig. So, I'm going to miss here, and then lightning is going to strike it. That is not a power you have. It's just part of the game. Every tutorial, the ship gets struck by lightning. It's a complete chance, but it took down a lot of its health because they don't think that you can take on a full-size brig uh, at your state right now of just figuring out how to fire the cannons. So, we're going to check out the brig, and it's going to go into another cinematic. Let's watch the cinematic guys and see what happens. So, you guys are celebrating you finally took down this ship and then the powder kegs start going off. The powder kegs are going to blow up and may or may not kill you. And then your <coughs> captain, which is trying to sacrifice your life, is killed. The blood on his blade is going to kill you, but you get blown over the side of the ship first. You sink down and the screen goes black and you start a conversation with Caroline. Now those who think it's things are ever going to get bad with Caroline they do get bad and you do break Edward. up hmm? private hearing is it dangerous wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't why not sail with the king's navy earn a proper wage sail under gentlemen the sod of the navy's gentlemen for every shilling I'd earn the captain gets 600 that's no way to earn a fortune we don't need a fortune It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. Guys, do not get attached to any of the characters in this game right. because no more than two. you will have some hard Honestly. feelings at the end. Uh, yeah, a lot of these characters end up dying or leaving you, so don't get attached. Um, basically, guys, you just uh, Caroline to agree with your whole privateering stuff, and that was just a memory because you're going to be waking up now in the basically sea with bo surrounded by dead people, so... Let's try to get to shore. Normally you won't be swimming as fast as this, but that is the sprint button that I'm holding down trying to get to the shore faster. Because I want to cut down all I can on this video, show you guys as much content as possible. Because this program will only let me uh, s uh, basically post 15 minute videos or YouTube will reject it. I have no idea why, but that kind of sucks. But whatever. So let's basically get to shore here and see another cinematic with... Uh, Edward and the assassin that's going to attack you. Now this island should have a resort on it. This is like an amazing view 
area. Uh, people spend lots of money to go places <laughs> like this, and uh, yeah, let's watch this cinematic. Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? <laughs> Bloody fucking pirates! So, he's gonna throw that uh, gun away because it's, it's empty. And you are going to need to chase after him. Now, guys, this is not time. Do not worry. Don't chase after him as fast as you can if you haven't played this game before. If you know, on, he man. basically just hits a checkpoint and stops. Stop. And as soon as you get there, he'll keep going. Uh, it's not timed. There's, he's not constantly running. You just need to basically go in this general path and you will get him. I am sprinting because I want to get this over with. And I'm going to have a fail. What do you want, so, uh, keep in mind, I'm going to miss, and I'm just going to jump off the side by accident. So, basically, we're going to get up on top of here, and, yeah, I'm sort of, I'm not, well, okay, so, yeah, that's my fail right there, and I'm going to have to go back and come back up, because there's a certain path that you should take, and in my next video, I am going to be doing getting all of the collectibles on this island and basically once I get all the collectibles I'm gonna be done with this island Cape Bonavista I'm never coming back and yeah because there's really no reason if you have all the chest synchronization points etc so you are gonna need to kinda shimmy around here climb up and if you guys are wondering why synchronization points are so useful in AC4 they show you where the collectibles are like chests and animus fragments uh, yeah animus fragments are extremely useful and so are the Mayan stones that you'll find uh, there's one Mayan stone here and if you get all of the Mayan stones you get Mayan armor which deflects all gunfire so that is an amazing gun so you're gonna dive into a haystack down here and there's your Duncan Walpole, the assassin, trying to run away from you. Uh, you are going to get shot in the end, and it's going to hurt, but you're still going to get him. Don't worry, guys. There's going to be a fight at the end, and you will pull forward. So, yeah. Let's go over and come up these ladder-like Indian-made things. I mean, I'm assuming they're Indian-made because there's nobody on the island that you see and towards the end there's these Indians that attack you um, on the islands they're called the guardians and yeah those things are uh, they do a lot of damage let's just say that they do a lot of damage with their blow darts so yeah you're gonna get shot right here that that's what I'm talking about it does a lot of damage but what's funny is in the end of the game if, even if you don't have mine armor because it is totally optional to go around and hunt for it uh, you will have like triple this amount of health just from upgrades that you can get in game and so yeah you can get armor and stuff but well, not in like in AC2 the armor was visible and you could see the type of armor you had on in AC4 you don't see the armor so it's just kind of a different thing now this is the very end of the video there's only about a minute left so I hope you guys liked it. We're going to fight it out with Duncan Walpole here. Read a letter in a cinematic. So, quick, easy, done. So, basically guys, there's a minute left. I'm going to let you read this. I hope you guys like this video. Please remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Senor Duncan Walpole. I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. 
If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Sumas humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Hey guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Please remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe, like I said before. Uh, watch part two where we're gonna get all the collectibles on Cape Bonavista, a full tutorial. And yeah, thanks for watching.